What is going on everyone and welcome to Cart 6T3. My name is Ben and I am the host of these here videos. Uh, these videos where we like to talk about cart tips and tricks and fun stuff and tires and all the other stuff related to cart racing and theory and art. Anything uh, basically I can think of is what I make videos about. <laughs> I have a whole list of things, ideas, concepts, premonitions, if you will, of, uh, of things that I want to do on this channel. Uh, if you didn't mind, if you're new here, if you didn't mind hitting or, well, I guess anybody watching this video could hit a like on this video. That would be awesome. If you're new to the channel, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome as well. Uh, I really do appreciate your support. I uh, appreciate your subscription. The fact that you want to come back and watch me, you know, do more videos really, really helps the channel grow. Um, it is, uh, it's not winter technically yet, but it has snowed. I'm going to try and bleep that out because I didn't say it, but you get the point. It, it is New York and it snowed already, or it snowed. <laughs> I think I could do it. I think I think it's going to be funny. Anyway, um, and uh, so the barn's going to get cold. And it, even though I've gone down to doing one video a week uh, again till the till the spring, I said this in the last video. Um, it's still going to be kind of miserable coming out here. Pretty soon you're going to see my breath. Right now, not quite, not quite there yet, but. Uh, I've had uh, multiple questions about winter stuff on carts, and I, I already did a video on winterizing your cart, but I thought in this video, more specifically, we could talk about tires. Now, first and foremost, I am not the guru on tires. I, am, I do not know the ins and outs of tires, but what I can explain to you is how other people that I know of store their tires, and I, I present this to you. As you can see, these are my tires. And these this, this is where my tires will sit all winter long. Now, my theory on this, again, I know, you know, I there's a tire. I do not know, I'm not a chemist. I did not create this tire. Therefore, I am taking a guess sometimes an educated guess because there's there's a reason why I leave these out here all winter long and I don't, you know, particularly, you know, I'm not worried about it because I've done it for so long. My reasoning behind leaving tires out in the barn and not doing anything to them is that typically at a track, uh, I have a, a tendency to oversaturate with prep. So my durometer gets too low. Now, I know I could correct this by using less prep, but I'm a UAS guy, we want max grip at all times. So I have a tendency to really wipe heavy when I wipe tires. So tires that have been prepped, internal, external, typically the durometer is you know maybe a tick too, too low. You know, and I would really like, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a five to, to 10 point gain on said tires. Um, and I don't want to add anything to the mix. I don't want to allow them, I, I don't know. I, I've had tires harden up on me a little bit throughout the winter. And then come springtime, those tires that I, I durometer them before I, I put them away, you know, in storage, which is, you know, just basically on the wall. And then I've come back to them in the spring and the drometers actually come up a little bit. This, I'm in no way saying this is going to happen on your end. Depends on your climate, depends where you're at. But this is my, my thing that usually I have too soft of Duro tires. I like to try and run a little harder tire. Uh, it comes on a little better, doesn't give up the longer run. That's another video uh, that's coming pretty soon here. But this is my reason behind it because I, I find that leaving them out has a tendency to bring the durometer up. So uh, the other ways that you can store them, I know of, uh, as a matter of fact, my cart owner, Walt, uh, has said to me repeatedly to take tires and put them into big plastic, you know, garbage bags, and then bring them inside to storage. Now, I could, I can see the reasoning behind that because you're, 
you're limiting the amount of uh, you know air that would influx in and out. So a a tire will dry rot because the oils essentially evaporate out of the tire. This is again, I'm no commas, but this is my gathering. So if you have dry rot, if you have cracked tires, the oils have left the building. They are no longer present in the tire or they're they're making their way out. The oils you know have 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 dissipated whether that be from you know just uh being around for so long, environment, they, they were in the heat for too long, uh, you use super aggressive preps, there's, there's multiple reasons, but the oils have, they're gone. And tires really harden up, you know, really bad, and they crack and split because they've lost all the oil. So trapping the tires in a bag, I could see that limiting the amount of air that, that gets in and out of there, therefore slowing you know, the, the evaporation of those oils, if that makes sense to you. Um, also, bringing tires inside. Uh, I did do this when I first moved to the back to this house. This was in my childhood home, um, and I bought this place eight years ago. I carried all of my tires down in the basement and stacked them all up and this and that, and I, I, I think I found a better uh, means of doing that, and I'll show you in a second. But it was honestly, my, my basement's kind of a pain to get to, walking them all the way down, this and that. I had stacks of tires. And honestly, when I brought them all back out here, I saw little to no difference in durometer, in condition of tires, things like that. I I just didn't, it didn't warrant me going through the effort of, you know, trying to get into my basement, getting down there, stacking all the tires, getting cobwebs in my mouth and hair, and it just being a big uh, pain in the rear end to do to whereas I've always done this, I've always left my tires out in, you know, uh, I used to live in another house and you had a, had a shed and that's where the tire stayed was I didn't bring my tires in, I lived in the trailer. There was no room for them, believe me. Um, but I left them in the in the shed with the cart and everything all winter long and every se season they would be fine. I would go ahead and run them. So that's, you know, kind of my theory there. Could you bring them inside? Yes, you could. Now, inside would be warmer now, is warmer going to accelerate the evaporation of these oils? Again, no chemist. Not exactly how that that happens or why that happens. I wouldn't assume, you know, room temperature. You know, even the you know a heated uh, house uh, throughout the winter. Say you're keeping it 65, 70 degrees, whatever it is. I'm assuming that's not going to be that big of a deal. That it's going to cause the you know a, a tire to prematurely. Uh, you know, get harder and lose those oils. Um, but it, 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 it was worth thinking. Now, old school thinking, and some people still use this, and I, I have zero issue whatsoever with you doing this. I stopped doing this because track tack on the back of their labels, it says there is no need to wrap your tire. So people, what people do is they take cellophane, and you may add some sort of additive. You may add, uh, you know, a WD-40 uh, transmission fluid, um, uh, you know, a, a track tech prep of some sort, wipe the tire, then you would take cellophane uh, wrap and then wrap the tire and that would essentially seal in the tire and seal in those those oils into the tire, sorry, the permeate. I get the concept. Now, the reason I don't do that as well um, is because my thought is when it comes to a new season of racing, I like to take all these tires, and if I'm prepping tires, I will put them on um, my tire machine, and I will surface them. So I'm going to hit them with you know 80 grit, 120 grit. I you know clean them up really well. So essentially, you're removing that top layer. So if you, I suppose that you know the the oils from a WD-40 or whatever. Um, a conditioning prep might permeate further in, but when it comes to the new season, what I'm doing is I'm removing that old layer of rubber that would have set out, you know, all all winter long in preparation for the new season. It, it, if you're following along with me, so I don't know that it's going to be aggressive enough to get far enough down in to make a difference to where's when I go to do that. Say I I do if I if I take WD-40 and I spray it and I rub it on, get them all sticky, wrap them in cellophane, put them away for the winter, bring them back out here in the spring, put them on my tire surfacer, and then I remove that layer. Did it permeate far enough into the tire to make a difference, 
or am I just wasting all that? Did I waste all that WD-40? Did I waste all that saran wrap by removing that layer? This is, this is, you know, I've thought about this immensely. <laughs> immensely? Is that the right word? Sometimes I use big words. They don't always fit in the sentence that I'm using. And I don't know why I do it. I just do it. But I have thought about this. You know, the, the, the concept of what works, what doesn't work. And, you know, I know it may seem lazy that I go ahead and leave my tires out here. But like I said... I surface all my tires come springtime, so I'm removing the layer that would have conceivably dried out, you know, to get to that fresh rubber. Um, so this is, uh, oh, I, I wanted to talk about this real quick before I end the video. Um, stacking tires. Now, this is a trick for, you know, going to, the, going to the races. If you don't have a lot of room, if you don't have tire racks in your trailer, if you don't have a trailer, if you need some way in order to transport your tires or if you need to keep sets together and you do want to stay, uh, store your tires inside for the winter, you can always put them on. All I do is I have a big dowel. I put some eyelet rings on the end and you can either use a ratchet strap or a piece of rope with a, a clip on one end. And uh, hopefully I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna show some B-roll footage of me actually putting tires on this thing was my intent here. Um, but this is, you know, like I said, it's great for transporting tires during the season. If you don't have a means of, of doing that, they keep sets together. Um, also, if you, you know, you like me and if you were gonna bring tires inside, take them down to your basement for storage for the winter, it keeps them together. It makes an easier mode of transportation. Just bloop and then stack them in the corner and there you go. Instead of individually, you know, carrying and stacking tires wherever you're gonna in your house, uh, I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd offer up uh, this information. This I had a whole bunch of people, again, ask about winterizing stuff, and I thought, rather than remake the video that I've already done, I'll, I'll link in the, the drop-down description on this video, I will link the video for winterizing your car and what I had to say about that last year, but I thought maybe I'd go a little more in-depth this time, and uh, this, this time, this, it's cold out here. I think my lips are they're starting to freeze up. <laughs> my hands are cold, I can tell you. Uh, this is my thoughts on this. Am I correct on it? Eh. You know, there are multiple ways of handling this. I just thought I'd throw it out there. You know, do what you want. Here's some of the reasons and some of the thoughts of why I do or don't do what I do. So there you go, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I know it's kind of, it was kind of weird this whole week only doing one video, like I'm so used to doing two videos, it, it felt, I felt a little bit lazy, but then again, I've also worked out three times this week, it gave me a little extra time to, to spend with my son and, and go to the gym and stuff, so I was busy, but it was also, it felt a little hollow, only doing one video, and it, it kind of weird that I was only doing this one, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, I appreciate every single one of you going by, uh, coming by, and uh, I'll see you again next week, so, later.